All right, maybe you've been in this dilemma. You're at an intersection and you want to make a left hand turn. The arrow's yellow and you go for it. And then, more quickly than expected, it turns red. Traffic cameras snap your picture because you were fractions of a second too late. If you're like many, not on your side viewers, you get a ticket in the mail and you pay up. With such a small violation, some drivers wonder whether that's fair. Would an officer on the street have written that same ticket? A lot of drivers have strong opinions, and tonight, Kevin Keene takes them to TPD. Kathy Sproul was turning on River and Oracle when traffic cameras flashed. She got a ticket in the mail stating she technically turned on red, two tenths of one second after the yellow arrow changed. That's 0.2 seconds. I think that amount of time is absolutely ridiculous. No police officer would have been able to even detect it with the naked eye. So why, uh, we're, you know, we're splitting hairs here. Kathy's ticket cost her 280 bucks. Rebecca Krell was turning right on a red light at Grant and Swan. She stopped before making her move, but says cameras spotted one of her tires past the stop line. I don't think it's a lot. I think it's a foot. I don't think that that's very much. I did stop. I did obey. And Rebecca ponied up $220 for traffic school. Over the years, dozens of drivers have told none on your side these cameras have caught them tenths of a second too late or just a few feet in the wrong place. It's because there's an inherent unfairness in the way that they do it. Systems engineer Mark Spear says the camera ticketing process is set up to maximize what he calls micro violations. Do you think officers would be ticketing someone at, to the same degree that the cameras ticket people? Absolutely not. My research has told me that they probably are ticketing 10 times more than they would normally be if it had been a police officer. Motorcycle police officer wouldn't have given me the ticket. They look at the same stop line, not the wait line, but the stop line that most that I was looking at at the time and that most safe, prudent, conscientious drivers look at. None on your side drove those concerns to Tucson police. Sergeant Timothy Beam says a sworn officer is involved with every ticket before it's issued, and they try to be fair while promoting safety. And we use our discretion, uh, just as the officer in the street would be able to use their discretion on whether or not to issue a citation, um, as to how close the citation was, what was the time, uh, how bad was the, how bad did they miss the red light or how fast were they going in, in some cases. The traffic camera supervisor says violations of one-tenth of one second are automatically rejected. Beyond that depends on the circumstances. Still, the statute says you have to be within the intersection when the light turns red. 0.1 seconds is a violation. 0.2 seconds is a violation. Some drivers, like Christy Bear, agree. Cameras caught her in the wrong. It took for me to actually go to school defensive driving to actually learn the reason why they're here. And the reason they're here is honestly just to make us safer. If they're not hidden somewhere, they're big posts with a camera attached to them and there's big lights that flash. Uh, I feel that people should be more cautious at those intersections just so they would be seeing a police officer on the side of the road. Fair or unfair, many drivers now just avoid those intersections altogether and accept this reality. The bottom line is, is the, the, uh, the system is uh, very efficient and the system is um, very good at what it does. In Tucson, Kevin Keene, KGUN 9 on your side. TPD says the city has made some adjustments in recent years to make the system more fair, such as adding half a second of yellow light time at the intersections. The department adds anyone is welcome to visit and see how the ticketing process works. You just have to call ahead. You can check out more on the story on kgun9.com.